Hello, I'm Dr. Nelva Lee. I'm the CEO and founder of Meteo. One of the greatest quotes from Gandhi is, be the change you wish to see. I believe that leaders from all generations and throughout history have discovered this one truth. And that is, if you want change to happen, you must make it happen yourself. You must be the change that you wish to see in this world. Two of my greatest heroes are Martin Luther King Jr. and Oprah Winfrey. Martin Luther King was actually born Michael King Jr. See, his father was a great fan of the German reformist, his namesake, Martin Luther. And when he returned from a trip to Germany, he changed his name and the name of his then five-year-old son, Martin Luther King Jr. I believe that that inspired within young Martin a desire to be like his namesake, a reformist, a mover and a shaker, and someone whose life transformed that of millions. And we all know what happened. Martin Luther King became the greatest civil rights leader of our time. His I Have a Dream speech was both inspiring and prophetic. Now, Oprah Winfrey is a billionaire in her own right. She is a true rags to riches story. But did you know that when she was just 14 years old, that she was a teenage mother? She not only had a child as a preemie, but he died just two weeks after he was born. And imagine the pain that must have caused young Oprah, the tragedy that she was feeling at the time and that she had to endure. I believe that young Oprah had to take that circumstance and crush it and turn it into fuel to propel her forward. Similarly, in my childhood, I had a very rocky childhood. I was both sexually and emotionally abused. And by the time I was 15 years old, I had lived with seven different families and I had attended 13 different schools. But I did not let that experience crush me. I used it for fuel to propel me forward. Thankfully, I had found purpose early in life and it allowed me to complete my bachelor's, my master's, and then my doctorate in healthcare administration and becoming the first in my family to obtain her doctorate. And later, I founded a very successful interpreting institute. See, I believe that each and every one of us have within us the ability to take whatever circumstances or obstacles that come our way and transform them into fuel to propel us forward. I believe that you have that ability within you. You can do this because you can be the change that you wish to see in this world. See, one of my favorite quotes is that obstacles are nothing but opportunities brilliantly disguised as insurmountable barriers. I truly believe that whatever obstacle we face, whatever trauma or trouble that's in our way, that we can take it, crush it, and use it as fuel to propel us forward. Each and every one of us has within us the ability to do this. It's all about a change in our perspective. See, I talked earlier about the abuse and instability that I faced as a child. Well, I took that sexual abuse and I allowed it to teach me true forgiveness. The emotional abuse, it allowed me to discern between truth and lies. And that instability that I talked about, that I had as a child, well, it's made me a very resilient person. It's allowed me to be able to pivot very quickly when a situation arises. It's made me the person that I am today. See, I'm gonna tell you a story. So we were, when I was at Grady, I was on an elevator and on pops up in the VP of IT. And uh, I was bragging a little bit about the successes of our interpreting services department. And he asked me this question. He said, why don't these people just learn English? Why uh, do we have to offer them medical interpreting services? They live here in the US. Why don't they just learn English? And I remember thinking, that is such an ignorant question to ask. So I went straight to the CEO and told him about it. 
And I can assure you that that was the last time that question was uttered. And I tell you this story because I believe that each and every one of us, if we're truly passionate about something, we're not gonna let anything, any obstacle stand in our way in order to accomplish the goal that we set before us. You have the ability to do that. Every single one of us has that. I believe that you can do that. Why? Because you can be the change that you wish to see in this world. I believe in you. Thank you.